Uh, well, we arrived last night in the dark and then woke up and this is the view. It's rather impressive. It's now sort of in the camera out. Um, absolutely stunning. We're hiking off into the jungle today. Jungle survival skills. I've just been chatting to this bloke who's gone and got some stuff out of his house and he has appeared with a Japanese Second World War helmet. And a Japanese uh, mini sword, it's like a bayonet, probably attached to a rifle. And this, which is amazing, can you just pull that out for me? Pull it out. Mm. There we are. They are that. If I'm not wrong, he's a knife. And also, a massive. Claims it's British. I don't really know, but certainly the uh, the hat and the uh, little sword and the Gurkha knife are all definitely genuine, and they're all definitely Second World War. So there's a bits of the war appearing out here in the mountains. Yo, in the jungle. <laughs> Maybe someone should tie a yellow ribbon around it. <laughs> Here we are in the jungle, just been shown which plant you use to heal a cut. Apparently you put it on and it stops bleeding within three minutes. I wonder if that happens if you've been shot by a Japanese sniper. Maybe not. Well, we've just been walking through the jungle and we've come across this, which is an M3 Lee Grant tank and it's upside down at the bottom of a Burmese valley. There was a road that runs right across this valley which was used in the Second World War and it's now just a pile of rubble, but yeah, here it is, here's the tank, it's amazing. Uh, well, that's quite a day. Um, I spent all of it walking around the jungle. My ankles and knees are absolutely knackered walking down thick jungle slopes for about six hours um, but I learned to make a trap uh, for trapping jungle chickens. Um, I climbed a tree with a uh, guy from the Chin tribe, local tribe in the hills here and he's basically like a human monkey. It was amazing how quickly he could get up and down those trees and how he could balance in just the little crooks of branches. And then we went to a sort of hidden deep deep valley where at the very bottom of it was an M3 Lee tank, um, upside down, it had fallen down there at some stage during the war. An amazing artifact from the Second World War and a really, really extraordinary day.